Oh, these things were really comfortable for me. The folks at Status Audio sent these earbuds my way to take on a test drive and share some thoughts. We're looking at the Between 3 ANC, a new premium true wireless earbud with some really fun audio tech inside. Holding up the little case here and running the full list, we've got a unique looking design. I'm going to call this the Mini Uhura. It's like a flat cylinder shape and that comes with dual controls. We've got tap commands on the flat surface and ANC toggles on tiny little switches on the top of the earbud. Got that offset driver housing and this is one of my main thumbs up in terms of design. Not only are there different sized ear tips, but we also get adjusters to better fit the bowl of our ear just outside the ear canal. I think it's a lot easier to find a good snug fit when we have options like arms or wings or these kinds of pads. Instead of a smoother plastic that will kind of slip or shift if there's like slight sweat or moisture, these have a slightly more rubbery silicone kind of feel. They've got a bit more grip. The Status Audio Buds are rated for up to eight hours of playback per charge with ANC on. I got really close to that on my first full charge, just shy of eight hours. And with the case, I mean, you should be good for 24 hours of playback out in the field, which should easily deliver days of use before you have to charge the whole, uh, all three little batteries here. Quick charging gives you two hours of audio after 15 minutes in the case and wireless charging is built into this. So you can just pop it down on a phone or on a wireless charging pad. The Between 3 ANC connect over Bluetooth 5.2 using AAC as the top quality codec and the buds are rated IPX5 for sweat resistance. Of course we have active noise cancellation. It's in the name of the earbud and that comes with pass-through environmental audio, but we don't have the fun trick uh, in-ear detection to auto-pause playback when you take them out of your skull. It's a really solid collection of tech bits, but these are earbuds. They're headphones, so how do they sound? Really bright. Okay, now here's the other geeky bit, and it kind of fits with the name, the Between 3. Um, I can give this a solid thumbs up also. These are triple driver earbuds, and we don't see this configuration often in true wireless. I think the last time I saw triple driver and Bluetooth, it was on a neck band. You can make an incredible sounding earbud with a single driver, but we can do some really interesting things when we divide up the audio labor. The Between 3 A and C use a 10 millimeter dynamic driver and a pair of balanced arms per ear. Each driver is responsible for a little less audio work and they can be tuned for specific parts of the frequency spectrum. Balanced arms are also kind of fun to play with for how they vibrate. They can aid in producing a sharper clarity or articulation. Now, usually when we see a hybrid configuration, we're going to hear that dynamic driver unleashed on the lows with the balanced arms handling more of the mids and highs. That's not what status is doing here. The tuning out of the box, I kind of feels like a bit of a scoop has been taken out of the upper lows uh, with a bit more presence in the highs. It's unique. I don't think I've heard anything quite like this before. It's not a smiley face EQ. It's not a deep V. I don't really like deep V, but it also doesn't sound like the mids are getting lifted. <laughs> I'm the nerd in so many of these videos. I'm always complaining at the back of the room about wanting more mids. Here, the lows seem a little dented, so there's less competition for the mids, but I still have some of the rumble and some of that bass decay. Now, I'm really sensitive to that sparkle area getting too bright. I, I, I worry about some of the more aggressively mixed pop tracks in my collection, and there are a few songs here where I think these started to get shrill. Or there are also just some situations, again, for how unique the sound is, where you just hear a highlight on an unexpected sound. Like I'm listening to some old school rock and roll or some jazz and I'm hearing parts of the drum kit that I'd never really noticed before. Sampling some JD McPherson and I'm sitting there thinking, I think I can hear the pedal on the hi-hat. But the mission of using a pair of balanced arms succeeds fantastically well. I love the tone and articulation around the vocals. There's a sharp detail and attack to guitars and distortion. You get those buzzy filters going and, and every time I, I just have to stop and let my ears vibrate for a second. I really like that detail. Considering the trend in a lot of consumer earbuds, I think folks are gonna feel that these are lean out of the box. And 
Honestly, they are a little lean out of the box with the stock tuning, but we have the hardware here to juice up a custom EQ. Now, I'd probably recommend starting with the included mode called Original Between Pro, and then just make some subtle shifts. Lift a little in the lows until you like what you hear. These can get a lot thicker before they start to get muddy. Status rates the buds for a wide frequency response, and yeah, it, it feels like we have a lot of room to play here. Now, shifting gears, the ANC is good, but it feels practical. I think it does a very good job of reducing environmental noise around you, but it is not the top tier of isolating your head. There's a balance at play with uh, noise reduction technology. I think generally, you still see buds that focus on a certain idea of audio quality, and those buds might take a more purist approach to manipulating the sound the listener might hear. A lot more money and design and tuning has to go into ANC so it doesn't affect the audio that's being played. Cheap headphones and earbuds with ANC will often alter the sound of your audio file or of the video that you're watching. I don't have any confirmation on this. It's my guess. It's my hypothesis that Status put money into making the best triple driver sound they could, and the ANC is a bit limited to prevent distortion of the sound they wanted to create. The good thing about that, if you're sensitive to hyper isolation or that stuffy ear feeling, these still give you a sense of what's happening around you. But for all earbuds, this is maybe the next big feature request that I'd like to see. I'd like to see more options for tuning the noise reduction. Status could give us a hyper isolation mode acknowledging that it might impact audio quality, but you'd be using it in situations where audio file grade listening would be prohibited. Similarly, the audio pass through is good, if it's just a bit airy and it's a little on the tinny side. Again, for how these things are tuned for music, there is kind of a highlight on some of the sharper, brighter, and more articulated sounds in your environment. Again, I would lean on a word like practical. Neither the ANC or the pass-through are bad by any stretch. They're really quite good, but we are talking about a premium priced earbud, and I think that sets expectations a little higher. I think the potential consumer for an earbud like this would need to balance their use of noise reduction and environmental pass-through modes against wanting a unique driver arrangement. Just a quick microphone test, not a call quality test. I'm recording this locally here on my Pixel 7 Pro. We just want to get a sense of what these are going to do. It's a really light breezy day, but I can hear some of the wind coming over these earbuds. Uh, with the uh, kind of impacting on the ANC. You can hear that kind of wind rustling sound. So it might be kind of interesting to see what they might be doing to filter out some of that wind noise just for human speech. I think this is about enough of a sample. We can get a good idea of what these things are going to do out in nature. So wrapping this all up, I really like these earbuds. And I think we have a terrific option here for those folks who they're maybe looking for a unique listening experience. This is not going to be the starter pair of earbuds for someone out there just getting into nicer audio or maybe their first pair of true wireless. And when that consumer is looking at spending this much on a pair of earbuds, these are the folks who are not afraid to roll their own EQ profile. That was a lot of fun for me, starting with this punchy, bright, articulate starting point and then dialing into the sound that I really wanted to hear. My recommendation for these buds leans a little stronger to the iPhone users than the Android users for using AAC as that top quality codec, and knowing that AAC support on Android is really inconsistent. You kind of have to go phone by phone to know which ones are really going to get the most out of these earbuds. I would have loved to listen to these with a new flavor of Aptex or LDAC or LHDC. But the toughest part of this space right now for how good the competition in true wireless is, headphones and earbuds are a very personal form of wearable technology. There really isn't a one size fits all kind of solution. And it's incredibly difficult to get a sense of what you might like just listening to someone like me talk and ramble about what the earbuds kind of sound like. I think it's why so many folks just kind of gravitate to the product that gets marketed the most aggressively. It's just easier that way. I know there are people out there using AirPods right now that will pop these in their ears and just fall in love like that. It's just finding a way to reach the people who would be a good fit for this option 
That's the tricky part. True Wireless is flush for good solutions right now. The competition is brutal. But I think the perks of really long battery life with a unique triple driver sound is absolutely worth taking the test drive. So I will, of course, leave some links down below for more information on the Between 3 ANC from Status Audio. And I want to thank him again for sending these my way because this was really fun. This was something a little different. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these reviews, supporting the channel. All the support lately has been absolutely fantastic. If you're subscribing to the YouTubes, if you're checking my home site, somegadgetguy.com, or if you're joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list is basically the coolest collection of tech pals in the universe. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet. I host my podcast on the Twitch, I'm spending a little more time on the Mastodons, uh, and I'm sharing photos on the Flickr with uh, spending a little less time these days on the Twitters and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. But I will catch you all on the next video.